For ECU volleyball player Sydney Darden, it was a dream to wear the pirate purple. And I'd always wanted to come to ECU since I was a little girl, so I was super excited about what the opportunity was. The outside hitter from Virginia Beach led the team in kills and was well on her way to having a remarkable career as a pirate after transferring in the spring of her freshman year. She played with so much intensity, enthusiasm, excitement, um, something that this gym hadn't seen. I had a great year. I was young still, so I, I had improvement to go, but I look forward to the next two years. I, everything was lined up to go well for the next two years. And then it wasn't. And that's the call as a coach you don't want to get for sure because she could have been killed. Darden had traveled back to her hometown before the start of her junior year where she was involved in a hit and run. I had a lot of uh, road rash all over my body. I had a partial tear of my PCL. I had cuts inside, so I had to get stitches on the inside and the outside of my skin. Fortunate enough to have survived something so serious, Darden had a long road to recovery ahead. She's a kid that doesn't like to sit out. She doesn't like to not be part of the action. Uh, again, on the court and off the court, so um, it was a tough go for her, really tough season. Instead of spending time practicing with her teammates in Minji's Coliseum, Darden found herself here in the weight room, alone, just trying to get her body back to where it was before. I lost about six inches off my vertical. I was really frustrated. I wasn't connecting to the ball. I wasn't as fast as I was. So it really took a mental toll on me. Although the transition from being a starter to being a role player was difficult for Darden, she felt obligated to help her team wherever she could. I obviously could not start anymore and I had to help a teammate play in my position for me. For her volleyball career and in life, the adversity Darden faced may have been a blessing in disguise. If I could take anything from it from the beginning, I would tell myself to look at the setback as not a negative thing. It improved my play on the court, being smarter with my shots, being patient. My mental game has gotten tremendously better. I don't see myself getting as frustrated as I was in my play. And um, I think that's just overall, I've had a complete 180 since last fall. A year removed from a life-changing accident, Darden is letting her play speak for itself. She had a lot to prove. Um, she wanted to prove that to uh, all the people that are watching um, to see if she could make it back. And I knew she could. I never, ever doubted that she would make it back. With two preseason tournament accolades under her belt, including an MVP title, you could say this senior is ready for conference play. I wanted to come back and say I'm, I'm back for my senior year and I really want to go out and have my best season yet and set a record for ECU. And after Darden proves the doubters wrong, she will be looking forward to something her entire support system has been pushing her towards for the past four years, graduation. It might be the best feeling in the world and I don't even know if I'll feel as excited as my parents and Coach Torbett how much I've put them through and they've been fighting for me to get through that graduation so I think they'll be just as excited as I am. For Campus Connect at East Carolina, I'm Nicola Duca.